yummy. What are uh, we it's putting got together? A lot today? of fresh ingredients, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm thinking like summer and coming up with different dishes. Okay. And um, we are doing a summer uh, ceviche. Mm -hmm. You know what ceviche, ceviche is? I have no idea what that is. All right. I'm so we get to teach today. <laughs> ceviche is a method of cooking and preparing fish. Sometimes you get it in like Mexican restaurants with like shrimp and okay. tomatoes and cucumbers. All right. This one, however, is a little bit more tropical with salmon and mango. Yum. So what happens is the fish is actually cooked from from the acid or from the lime juice or from the vinegar it's cooked from that okay. versus actually going to the heat uh -huh. and being cooked by heat cooking so in theory you could eat, I could eat that after about 30 minutes or okay. so um, the lemon juice or lime juice in this case we're using lime juice and rice vinegar All right. and that is what's working so you can actually start to see already because yeah, this has it been is. hanging it's out kind of where it's starting to cook you know the fish just from the acidity yeah. from the vinegar Okay. So it's just a different Never technique. <laughs> it actually results in such a uh, great texture um, for the seafood itself. Uh -huh. But we want to add other things in. So we're basically going to mix all of this together in a bowl, and it can be served with tortilla chips, or you could put it like in a corn tortilla and have it like a taco. Uh -huh. um, there's a lot of different Yum. ways that you could Sounds eat so this. Good. But we're taking some chopped up mangoes. And then we're going to add our salmon to this. And again, I've already got the salmon kind of hanging out um, in the rice vinegar and mm -hmm. lime juice. Um, some chopped uh, cilantro. Mm -hmm. Got to have that. Yeah. So you can see kind of where some of the Latin flavors coming from. Gotcha. But then we're also adding some Asian uh, hints into this. Uh, cilantro, believe it or not, is actually used in Asian cooking a lot and in Latin American cooking. So you see it kind of across the board. Okay. Um, so I'm just chopping a little avocado here. And we're going to um, have a cheese scoop that in for me, and this okay. one as well. All right. And for a little bit of additional texture, I'm going to add some chopped apple. And I thought that would give it a nice crunch. Oh, I love that. I also like how you de-seed, I guess, the avocados. I yeah. love how you do that with the knife. She chops into the seed and then twists it and pulls it out at the same exactly time. exactly right. It's perfect. See, she's learning already. I know. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take a little bit of that chopped apple in there, mm -hmm. and then um, mainly it's just about some of the flavors of um, the Asian uh, touch that we're going to put into this. So let me just cut this and we'll add that in. Wow. Um, if you want, go ahead and just give that a stir, and it'll start to kind of stir some of that All rice right. vinegar around in there. I can't believe you've never had ceviche. Never. This will be a first. All right. Well, I hope you like it. Are you a seafood fan? Uh, you know what? Not typically. I'll do a little bit of That's sushi. Why. I do a lot of crab. I do. I like crab. Mm -hmm. um, I like anything shellfish, I guess. I, I can do that. Okay. Um, but I do like a spicy tuna okay. um, roll. Well, then I we do may like be, those. We may be on to something here. So, so I will so give it a try. Maybe your new favorite thing. So Look we're doing that. a bit of salt and sugar. So the sugar helps to kind of oh. cut the acidity, again, of the rice vinegar. Okay. Um, but the Asian kind of twist that I'm adding in is some sesame oil. Okay. So we're going in with some sesame oil. Now why do you add that? Why is why is that important to add? Um, well, really it gives it that nice Asian flavor. Okay, um, so that's a little bit of the point. rice vinegar. Okay. And then we're going to garnish with a bit of sesame seeds. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Right? And that gives it a touch of a crunch. Uh-huh. And a little bit we of are about done. Um, again, it's all about getting enough of the acidity in to cook the fish. Okay. So uh, finally, I'm going to just give it a little bit more lime juice. And we really honestly want to let this hang out for about 30 minutes or so. I like this little juicer or whatever this is. What is this Yeah, pulp? it helps I like to catch that. the pulp. Yeah. And then also, um, if you're doing lemons, it catches the seeds. I like that. But the juice runs through. We actually it. sell it here in the store. That'll be my shameless plug for the day. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're okay with that. <laughs> All right. So once oh, you have that together, that really too. just let it sit. You can see how colorful mm -hmm. and pretty that is. Um, again, we made some chips on the show not too long ago. Uh, yeah. Um, where you could make those and serve with this mm -hmm. or you could pick up some you know that would go just fine but wonderful that's it. wonderful well thank you so much I can't wait to try it all right my first fish dish I don't <laughs> know but um for this recipe and many other recipes go to our website at wtvq.com forward slash midday Kentucky go to the recipes tab and then also um, you can go to Allison's uh, website at wildtimecooking.com and other than that we will be back right after this break You may be surprised to learn that you do not